so many times it is asked based on intermolecular force of attraction how you classified polymers or what are the difference between elastomers and fibers what are the difference between thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics or give the mechanism of uh, chain growth polymerization this is also a very common question now the most important question which normally ask is what are the various monomers of various polymers for example if it is given polythene give the structure and name of the monomer of this particular polymer so as you know this polymer the structure and name of the monomer you are aware of the name of the monomer is ch2 double bond ch2 that is ethene structure also is given name is also given this is a one mark question you have to sometimes two different uh, uh, polymers are given two mark question also it is being asked now second one polymer you have to study is polypropene polypropene this case the monomer is no doubt propene next polymer which you have to study is polypropene the monomer is propene which will polymerize why i have written this as a branch it this is because this two carbon atoms has to combi combine with other carbon atoms so i have written the ch3 down then ch double bond ch2 here there is a valency here there is a valency this will be polymerizing if i take n molecules this carbon atoms of each monomer will be combining end to end and you will be getting a polymer so the name is propene and the structure is this third one is teflon the monomer is tetrafluoroethene this is ethene molecule both the four both the carbon atoms all the hydrogens are replaced by fluorine so cf2 double bond cf2 this is tetrafluoroethene this you are familiar our non stick vessels all contain that black coating which is teflon this combines this is very simple uh, addition polymerization this bond will be breaking cf2 single bond cf2 n times this is poly tetrafluoroethene or teflon the familiar teflon coating now next polymer which i have to tell you is pan polyvinyl cyanide or acrylo nitrile poly acrylo nitrile that is ch2 double bond ch2 cn this is vinyl cyanide which polymerizes if i write n ch2 single bond ch2 cn this is poly vinyl cyanide or poly acrylo nitrile or pan this is another polymer this all cases you can see the simple addition polymerization next one it is polystyrene styrene is this molecule ch double bond ch2 c6h5 ch double bond ch2 polystyrene here there is a correction as you know this is not ch2 this is ch here also it is ch only it is not ch2 next one is polystyrene in polystyrene styrene is as I, either i will write like this c6h5 ch double bond ch2 or i can write it as c6h5 ch double bond ch2 this molecule it will combine this two carbon atom this bond will break here and here one valency will created so i can write it as ch single bond ch2 n times so you might have understood the difference between this is a branched polymer it has got a branch here this is also a branched polymer whereas ethene polythene there was no branches it was a linear polymer there is polymers depending upon the polymerization it can be classified into branched and linear polymers these two are branched pan is a branched polymer whereas teflon is a linear polymer polythene is a linear polymer 
This polystyrene is a branched polymer. You can make out a branch here. Next molecule also there will be a branch. In the sense, next monomer species which is attached here also will have a branch of C6H5. So, it is a branched polymer. Now, it comes to PVC. PVC pipes you are more familiar. PVC polyvinyl chloride. That is CH2 double bond CHCl. This is also n times. So, all are very simple molecules CH2, CHCl, n times. This is CH2, CHCl n times. This is also a very simple molecule. This is polyvinyl chloride, which is used for making PVC pipes. Now, it comes to the next species. which is nylon 6 and nylon 6, 6 which comes under the category polyamides. Next category of polymers are polyamides. In this two are there to study, one is nylon 6, other one is nylon 6, 6. Nylon 6, 6 we have seen, it is formed by the condensation polymerization of adipic acid and hexamethylenediamine. Six times NH2. This is hexamethylene diamine combined with adipic acid, which is a dicarboxylic acid. It combines this OH and one of the H will be formed, removed. You will get an amide linkage of COnH. This hydrogen will combine with the next adipic acid species. Suppose one adipic acid species comes here, this H will combine with that OH. Here one um, hexamethylene diamine amino group comes here, this OH will combine with that H so that it will be keep on polymerizing. This is a condensation polymerization, also it is known as a step growth polymerization. First step, this uh, two species combine and I can show you NH2, CH2 six times, NH. CO, CH2 four times, COH. Like this one more, this is first step. Next step one more uh, similar species, one adipic acid and other hexamethylene diamine combines, one more this type of species forms. I can write it here, NH2, CH2 six times, NH, CO, CH2 four times, COH. This combines, this OH will be replaced by this H. So, here there will be a bond forms. One more species come here, one more carbon, same one more species come here, acid group will come here, this H will be replaced. Suppose I write here N, here also N, this entity I can write here it as N. Because this OH will be always replaced by an NH group, this H will be always replaced by a CO group. So, this is a long polymer which is formed, which forms in the various steps. So, it is called a step growth polymerization. Now, this is nylon 6, 6 as I told you, this consists of 6 carbon atom. This also consists of 6 carbon atom, it is called a nylon 6, 6. Next comes nylon 6. Nylon 6, the monomer is caprolactam. Caprolactam is also an amide this species when you heat this bond will break here the CO NH bond will break here one end will become CO other end will become NH the chain will open up it is a loop like this, when that CONH will break, it will become open up like a straight chain, straight chain. So, this will be, when you heat this molecule, this end become NH, there is a valency since the bond is broken. Then CH2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 CH2 groups, 
CH2 5 times, then it comes EO. You can go through it once, NH CH2 5 times, then CO. If like that one more unit added, that NH will be added here of course. Like this one more unit, two caprolactam mo molecules are opened up like this. One more can combine with it, so that here it will be NH CH2 four ta 5 times CO. This NH of course will combine with the CO, here there will be a bond. So what we can write is, if I write N molecules of this, I can write this N times. N molecules combine, this N times it is formed, this is called a nylon 6. This species is called a nylon 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 carbon atoms. In this case, there were 6 plus 6 carbon atoms. Both are amides, so it comes under the category polyamides. Now it comes polyesters. In this also, two different polymers you have to study. One is terlene or dacron, other one is glyptal. In terlene or dacron, we have terethalic acid and ethylene glycol. This one, the monomer is terylene close you are familiar with. The monomer is terethalic acid. This molecule is thalic acid, it is a dicarboxylic acid. This is thalic acid. Terethalic, this is ortho product. If it is para, we call it as terethalic acid. Thalic acid, terethalic acid. So the monomer is terethalic acid and ethylene glycol. This case, it is terethalic acid plus ethylene glycol. This case, it is thalic acid plus ethylene glycol. So first I will explain this dacron terethalic acid COOH COOH ethylene glycol CH2 OH CH2 CH2 OH this is terethalic acid and ethylene glycol this combines one acid and alcohol of course the reaction is esterification acid and alcohol combine together to form an ester when OH will be removed always you remember always OH removed from carboxylic acid H will be removed from alcohol so this elimination of a molecule of water so you will be getting CO, OH, CO, O, CH2, CH2, OH. An ester is formed. Here, this OH group again combined with one more alcoholic group, ethylene glycol here. This OH will be removed. So if I write N here and N here, this OH will be always prone to be attacked by the, this alcohol. I can write this as a valency. This is an alcoholic entity. As I told you, H will be removed if an acid comes this end. So I can write it as N. This is terylene or dacron. It's a polyester. Next it comes glyptal. In case of uh, terethalic acid, it is only thalic acid. Thalic acid react with ethylene glycol to get glyptal. For example, ethylene glycol if I write, plus OH, COOH, of course this H and this OH will be removed. So your polymer will be OH, CH2, CH2, O, C, O, here it is benzene ring, this is C, O, H, 
ये नहीं आना चाहिए कट ये पार्ट नहीं आना चाहिए यहाँ तक ही आना है आइएगा ठीक है कंटिन्यू दिस इज यू ओ एच दिस इज अगेन एन ओ एच एंटिटी हियर वन इफ आई राइट दिस इज एन टाइम्स दिस इज एन टाइम्स दिस एच विल बी रिप्लेस्ड हियर सिंस इट इज यू ओ एच दिस ओ एच विल बी रिप्लेस्ड दिस आई कैन राइट एन टाइम्स दिस इज वॉट इज ग्लिप्टाल आई होप पॉली एस्टर्स यू आर क्लियर टू यू यू आर क्लियर विथ टर्लीन और डैक्रन और ग्लिप्टाल नेक्स्ट इट कम्स फिनॉल फॉर्माल डिहाइड पॉलीमर्स और इट इज कॉल्ड अ देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ फिनॉल फॉर्माल डिहाइड रसेंस वन इज नॉवेलैक अदर वन इज बेकलाइट फिनॉल फॉर्माल डिहाइड पॉलीमर्स दिस इज फिनॉल it combined with formaldehyde it is hcho or you can write it as ch2o these got two combines and form a basic unit in the sense another molecule which is called ortho hydroxy benzyl alcohol and para hydroxy benzyl alcohol and even both ortho para products also this combine and give you many other products OH, CH two OH, CH two OH, CH two OH also. Ortho hydroxy benzyl alcohol, para hydroxy benzyl alcohol, two four six products also you are getting. This phenol combined with the formaldehyde, you will get ortho, para, and the mixed products. This products combine. For example, only ortho combine. ortho hydroxy benzyl alcohol if it combines oh ch2 oh one more molecule if i write this is oh here i am writing ch2 oh this h will combine with this oh eliminate a molecule of water so i can write it here ch2 clear to you another one more molecule if i write here there is an h this is ch2oh here it is an oh this oh and this h will be reacting so again i can write ch2 so it will be resulting a straight chain polymer like this this is called novelac which is used in paints phenol formaldehyde resins phenol combined with formaldehyde to form ortho hydroxy benzyl alcohol para hydroxy benzyl alcohol 246 product also in that only ortho product combines you get novelac if this ortho and para combines together you will get a network of structure which is called a bakelite because here 